In this problem, we're giving a diagram and a chart. With this, we need to find the current source and resistor of this problem. So the voltage and current were measured at the terminals of the device as shown in table B. In table B, we have voltage and we also have current. We were asked, what is the value of the current source and resistor known to make up this device? So somewhere inside of here, inside of our circuit, we have a resistor in here. To find this, what we need to do is take the change of our voltage and our current and then plug it into the formula to find resistor. To find the change in voltage, we're setting this equal to the max voltage, which for this example is 125 volts. We're subtracting this from the lowest voltage, which is 50 volts, and then we are counting how many that we have. We have 6 volts, so we're going to do 6 minus our first one, which is 1. This is the slope formula, and if we do this, we're going to get 75 divided by 5, or 15. So the change in our voltage is equal to 15. Now we're going to calculate the change in our current. And the change of our current is the same thing. We're using the slope formula, so we have our largest part, which is 15, minus our smallest part, which is 0. And we're going to do 6 minus 1, since we have 6, and we're starting at 1. If we do this, we're going to get 15 over 5, or that our change in current is equal to 3. Now, if we plug this into the formula that is in the notes linked below, we can see that to find our resistance, we are going to use the formula V for voltage is equal to current times resistance. Since we don't know the resistance and we know voltage and current, we're going to rewrite this so that our resistance is equal to our voltage divided by our current. Now we're plugging in our values, so we can see that R is equal to 15, and this is volts divided by 3 amps. So we can see that our resistance is equal to 5, and volts over amps is just ohms. For our bottom part, our answer is going to be 5 ohms. Now we're asked for the current source. So current source is going to start at zero. The source is zero. And draw this in red. We're going to look where our voltage is 50 and current is zero. Now to find the actual current source, since our current source is not zero, but it starts at zero, we're going to have to use this same formula. However, we're going to rewrite it for our current. So previously we rewrote it so that we were finding R but now we're gonna find I. So what we can do is say that our I is equal to our voltage divided by our resistance. And if we do this, we know that our voltage here is 50 volts and our resistance is five ohms. So if we do this, we're gonna get that our current is equal to 10 and then volts divided by ohms, which is amps. So the answer for our current is 10. The reason why we did not use 15 volts that we found up here for the change in current is because this voltage is not the change in current, it is the voltage at our current source. And our current source being zero means our voltage source is what's next to it, or 50, and then we're dividing this by the resistance because the resistance is only of one and it's the same throughout the system. And that is the answer for this problem. Alrighty, if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, definitely leave a like down below. Make sure to subscribe for more videos. And if you have any more questions, leave them down below. Cool. In this problem, we're... Right, start over. What is it? In this problem, we're given a oh, I had it right. okay. diagram and a chart.